Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about fonts and I'm going to show you how to view your fonts. I'm going to show you a couple different ways and also going to show you how to delete and install new fonts if you like. So let's begin by showing you how to access your fonts. So back in the older days of Windows, before Windows 10, you'd have to go to your control panel to see your fonts, which you still can do. So you could do a search for it if you want with Cortana. So control panel right there or if you're like me and you like the Windows 7 style start menu, you got it right there. And you click on fonts. So this will show you all the fonts that are installed on your computer. And then you know you could double click on one to get a preview of how it'll look. You could even print it out if you want. So this is a you know nice way to see what you got going on here. And then you could also, if you want to change the views. You know, something a little easier to read, or if you want to see it bigger or smaller, that kind of thing, then you could do that. And then also, if you go to the Windows 10 settings, which, once again, if you have the Windows 10 start menu, it's easy to find that one. You go to settings right there. And then you'd want to go to your personalization settings, and then down to fonts. And then the same type of thing here, it kind of shows you a preview. And you could double click on one and if you want to see it bigger or if you want to see something specific, you know, specific text, you could do that. And you could search for fonts in here. And so it's just a different view. It's, it's, it's up to you. It kind of you know, works the same which one you want to see or which one works better for you. And then one other thing, if you go into your Windows directory on your C drive, Windows, and then you have a fonts folder there as well, and that'll actually open up the same view that you get with control panel. So just another quick way to get to it. So now let's talk about how to uninstall and install some fonts. So let's say we don't want, let's pick this one here. You could just right click and delete on it if you're in the fonts folder itself. Or you could also click on delete there. And then the control panel method should be the same thing. Let's just go there to confirm. Same thing. You just click on, let's say I'm going to actually do it, delete. So now that font's gone. And from the Windows 10 settings, let's say we want another one. Like, I don't have any use for this font. You can click on it and click on uninstall. See how it tells you it's in the Windows fonts folder, the same folder. Uninstall. And now that's gone. Okay, so now for installing fonts, a couple different ways we could do it. You could install, okay, so here's a font I'm going to install right here that I downloaded off the internet. And so what you could do is you could drag and drop it into your fonts folder right there there you can drag and drop it into here too let's let's do it that way so if I get both windows open here I can just drag it and drop it and see how it says it's installing it so that's done so now we have that right there that font and we can look at it and in other ways, from the uh, Windows 10 settings, so it has the same thing, drag and drop into there. So if I take that same font, even though it's already installed, I'll show you what happens when you already have a font. Drag and drop it there. Say it tells you it's already installed, do you want to replace it? No point, so I'll say no, but if this was a new font that you didn't have, then you could just install it that way. So if you, if you download some bulk fonts and you have a big list of them, you could just drag and drop them right into here. Or right into here and if it's already installed you'll get a little message for each one so you don't have to worry about um, overriding fonts if you don't want to all right so real quick to review a couple ways so we have the uh, let me just close this down here and we'll okay so you can get to the fonts from your C Drive the Windows folder and fonts you could also get to it from control panel and fonts and then you can also get to it from your Windows 10 settings, personalization, 
and fonts. And then, like I said, just double click one to look at it. You can search for it here. And to install it, just drag and drop into here or drag and drop it into there. Either way, it'll work exactly the same way. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.